Well, it's a strange one for me because it was boredom, really, which, given my background, is a bit weird. Um, because as a pilot in the RAF, I had a pretty exciting job. Um, but one of the places they sent me to was the Falkland Islands, and the, when I went down there in July, um, it kind of shows how much geography I paid attention in school because uh, I arrived thinking, oh, you know, island in the Atlantic, summer holidays, great, get the Bermuda shorts out. And of course, it was the middle of their winter, and I arrived into the middle of blowing snow with winds of 80 miles an hour, totally unable to fly. And after two weeks, I was going so stir crazy that my navigator eventually sort of said to me, oh, for goodness sakes, Mark, do something useful, write a book or something. And that was what sort of triggered me. Uh, I took it as a challenge. and. Uh, and I said, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll write the first few pages to a book if you like it, I'll write the rest. And, and after that, I just got the bug and kept going. And sort of 12, 13 books later, I'm, I'm still going and uh, getting more and more enthusiastic all the time. Very much so. I don't think any writer can write anything without taking from their own experience. Most of the characters in my stories exhibit character traits of my own. Um, I'd be silly to deny that. And I very much base my stories upon experience. So the last series was all flying based. Um, the series before that was all spies, assassins, murders and intrigue. Now I've never been a spy, um, but in order to, to write that, that series I did learn a lot of the skills. So I. Uh, I learnt uh, martial arts, I learnt to pick locks, I learnt to throw knives, <laughs> I did all sorts of things, which was great fun. And so I take from my own experiences and plough into the stories the things that I've learnt. So there are often scenes with survival uh, type tendencies where I've done survival exercises and I've done all sorts of things from my military background which, which very much fit into the stories that I write. I think the action scenes that I was writing inspired me to take up Taekwondo. Uh, I, I, I was writing a fight scene for Imperial Assassin and I suddenly realised that I didn't, you know, I'm a total coward, I'd have run away at the first sign of a fight. So I thought, well, you know, it would be a really useful skill to have to be able to take on board what it is like to fight somebody. And so I, I thought, well, I've always expected to walk into a martial arts club and be beaten up by all the black belts and it doesn't actually work that way. Um, it's, it's a great discipline, a great sport. and, and it taught me the mechanics of fighting, um, which is a great skill to have when you're writing action scenes, certainly, but so the whole sort of inspiration thing was perhaps a little bit back to front in that way. Uh, well, certainly before you end up in the situation of being published, then I would say try to write a little bit every day because uh, it's a good habit to get into and if you can, even if it's just a couple of paragraphs, it's great to just write a little bit every day. Um, certainly never ever give up. If it's something that's your passion, then you won't. Um, if, it's, if your desire is to get published, then just keep submitting and submitting and, and, and keep trying to rework things and, until it is the best you can possibly make it. And eventually, you know, if you're determined enough, then you'll get it. Oh, I've got so many. Uh, my favourite children's book of the last ten years has to be Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve, which I absolutely love. Um, I thought it was a superb book. Um, but I've, I've read an awful lot that have jumped out and grabbed me. In recent times I've thoroughly enjoyed The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, which I thought was a superb trilogy. I thought Gone by Michael Grant was brilliant as well. A bit gory, but, <laughs> but it, was, it was a really gripping book. Um, but for younger children, I, I particularly, because I've got younger children of my own, my little boy loves some of the, uh, the rhyming stories by people like Julia Jarman and, uh, and Julia Donaldson. And, so I, I have great fun reading um, things by Dr. Zeus, and, uh, and I can reel them all off uh, from heart by heart. So yeah, it's great fun. That inspired me as a writer in different ways. Um, I love the description of, of people like Philip Reeve and Sarah Singleton and Mary Hoffman. Uh, I love the action sort of drive of, of certain other writers like Anthony Horowitz or. Um, or Charlie Hickson or people like that and yet you know if I look at people as a person then I have to you know and the way that they market themselves then I have to hold up people like Jacqueline Wilson who you know for many years uh, was willing to travel length and breadth of the country and sleep on people's floors just to talk to a handful of people and I just think well that's me you know I would do that um, because I want to get out there and, and get the young people reading and obviously reading my books would be nice but just to inspire them to read anything and it is just um, is something that's very, very much a passion.